Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today, we're gonna to set the alignment on our classic car, and we're gonna walk through it step by step. So this car here, I aligned myself. We've recently changed out the front suspension, so we're gonna walk through and make sure that everything is still good. And I'm gonna walk through how you'd set on this toe caster camber to make sure that you have a good alignment going forward. According to my analytics, more than 80% of you are unsubscribed. It would mean a lot to me if you did, and you could do me a quick favor. If you enjoy this video, you appreciate the information, and you wanna see more content like it, you join the community and subscribe. Or just hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much. Let's get on with it. So we're gonna talk, first, I'm gonna talk through caster, camber, and tow. And I'm gonna to try to show you on a diagram here on the tire itself what I mean with some graphics. Let's see if this works out. So the caster angle is the angular displacement of the steering axis from the vertical axis in this car here. So you can see this line that goes straight up and down. That's the vertical axis. And then you have the caster angle, which is the angle between this point and this point here. If you have positive camber, your wheels are tilted outward and the vehicle has improved stability. If you have negative camber, your wheels will be tilted in at the top and you'll have, and it's more set up for vehicles that require better cornering. If you have zero camber, you're straight up and down the line of the car. So when we look at tow, it's going to be how far are these two front wheels angled into each other and or are they perfectly straight so that there's no tow. So we're going to go ahead and set it so that there's a slight amount of tow on this vehicle. So the first step what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the car on my alignment plates. So you can buy alignment plates like this pretty much summer racing, anywhere where they sell hot rod car parts. You can also make your own if you use two sheets of steel and you put a thick layer of grease between them so that they can rotate. So let's go ahead and get these on the car. When lining the tires up, you wanna make sure that you get it as centered as possible so that you're pivoting on that bottom point there and on the center. One of the important things when you set caster camber and tow, you wanna make sure that you have the vehicle on its correct ride height and all the weight down on it. All right, now that I have the car on the quick turn alignment plates, I'm gonna center the steering wheel. And it's important that you get the steering wheel the steering box centered, not the wheel. So you, most likely it'll be off a little bit. So I'm gonna go all the way to one side, then all the way to the other side in center. So here's the caster camera gauge from Longacre Racing Products. Uh, the way that it works is you have your camber on the outside. So let's go this way and we can see. So you have positive on the left and negative on the right. And then you have your caster on the inside. And the caster has a uh, area to zero it for when you're trying to set it up on the car. The nice thing about this one, and a giant magnet up top to stick to steel wheels if you have steel wheels on your car. So let's go ahead and use this to set up my alignment. So my goal on the camber is to be around a half a degree or zero to a half a degree negative. And it's hard to see here, but I'm actually sitting at about a quarter degree negative, which is kind of within the tolerances that I want, so I'm okay here. And I'm gonna check the other side. I'm also, after I check the other side, I'm gonna show you how to kind of switch so you can adjust it. To do an adjustment of the camber on this vehicle, what you do is you twist the eccentric screw over there, in and out. So when you move it in and that screw moves further towards the outside of the vehicle, it pushes the rear of the tire out and it moves the top of the tire in. So as you adjust that, it'll change the alignment of the vehicle. So make small adjustments at once. Luckily mine is all set so I don't need to make any more adjustments to it. We're gonna set the caster on right front first and to do that, I've marked a line here at zero. I'm gonna take the tire, I'm gonna turn it out 20 degrees. So when you do the caster you always want to start by taking the tire out in the front so right is going to turn right with that pointing at 20 degrees almost perfect we're going to take this we're going to put the caster camber gauge on the wheel itself and then we're going to zero it by turning this so the bubble in the center 
where it's caster, positive, negative, we want to zero out. So you can see the bubble at the bottom is, at, is directly in the center, and then you can see caster is zeroed out at zero degrees. Now with us pointing 20 degrees in on the tire, we're going to take the caster gauge again and put it back on and measure the caster angle. So you can see we ended up where we wanted to be. We're at two and a half here, which is close. We wanted it to be around two and a half on either side, so maybe a little higher. I'm going to stick with it at two and a half positive first to try, and then we'll see how it drives and make any adjustments if we need to. All right, so I'm not going to show the left-hand side, but you do the same thing, and you do the left wheel. You turn it left and out. You zero it out, then turn it in, check the caster, and make sure that you're within the range that you want to be. To change the caster of the vehicle, we're actually going to adjust this strut rod here. So this strut rod will pull it forward and back. To be able to do that, you see there's two nuts here. You need to take the top nut off and you need to remove the pin and then you can adjust it forward and back. Lengthening the strut rod up here, so the one that goes to the lower control arm, when you lengthen it, it'll move the control arm backwards and adds a negative caster. When you shorten it and pull it forward, it's gonna add positive caster. So depending on where you end up, you, you're gonna to need to be able to make adjustments on that. All right, now that we have the caster on camber set and it's set correctly, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the toe. So the way I'm gonna to measure toe on the vehicle is I'm actually gonna use a tape measure and I'm gonna measure from the back of the one tire to the back of the other tire. And then I'm gonna measure from the front of the tire to the front of the other tire. And I'm going to take that measurement, subtract them, and I'm looking for about an eighth inch of, uh, it's a sixteenth to an eighth inch of toe. On the back of the tire, we're sitting at 55 and 3 sixteenths. So let's go ahead and measure the front of the tire. So on the front, we're measuring 55 and an eighth. So 55 and 3 sixteenths minus 55 and an eighth gives us an eighth inch of toe-in. So we are good to go. So our toe-in is correctly set. Now to adjust the toe if it's off, you use this shoulder, this collar here. What you need to do is you take off the two nuts and you, you loosen the two clamps on either side and then you spin it around. When you make it further or further apart, the tire is gonna toe in and when you pull it in this tire is going to move in so you want to try to get it as straight as possible so you're seeing about a eighth inch toe when you do set these up you want to set them up evenly so you don't have any binding on the steering when you're going full turn to turn one of the nice things about setting up alignment yourself is it gives you the freedom to adjust it and tune it to your driving style it gets expensive if you want to go back and keep going back to the shop adjusting it seeing if you like it going back, adjusting it, kind of finding that spot that works best for you. So it's nice to be able to do it yourself. So there we go. You know, as you saw, it's really not that bad to do it yourself. When you're doing the alignment, there's only a few different measurement settings that you need to take. It's, you need to buy the tools. I'd make sure you buy the right tools and don't cheap out on them because, I mean, getting your alignment correct is important. If you don't have it correct, you're probably going to have either a bad handling car or you're going to have uneven tire wear. So thanks for tuning in on Smacky's Garage. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.